Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am inside my 2023 Tesla Model Y. This car currently has an update waiting to be installed, but I have been uh, stalling it because I've been hearing so many things that are not so good. The software that needs to be installed is 2023.44.30.2. I'm hearing that there's going to be a 30.5, which has... Um, better updates so what i'm trying to do here is see this is the summary of the changes uh but it's not really 100 percent working properly so i'm gonna have to schedule this again uh yeah i think it's 24 hours or 12 hours i'm not sure 11 55 a.m i'm gonna change it to the next what time is it right now it's 10 33 a.m so i'm gonna schedule it to the next 10 hopefully i can switch it to 10 and it's not letting me switch to 10 so i'm gonna have to switch it to something before the current time and that's gonna automatically put it Tomorrow, not today. See, the current install time is 11.55 a.m. There's no more upcoming 9.50 a.m. Except if you have to wait until tomorrow. And that's what I want to do. I want to schedule it at 9.50 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, let me try it again before I... Uh, see, it wouldn't let me... It, is that a Tesla bug also? I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. 10.50... Right now it's 10.34, so I schedule it before that, 10.20 a.m. So this is almost 24 hours from now. And let's see, hopefully it doesn't schedule it, because I don't want this right now. It's going to mess up my my driving. It's going to put a lot of uh, limitations on my autopilot, um, and I rarely drive. I rarely use the autopilot. Even if I do, I want to be able to use it properly which is you know i let go of the steering wheel and let the car drive and whatnot anyways schedule all right so it's scheduled now for a future time not right now not 11 not in about 25 minutes so let's see here i want to make sure it's correct all right so it's going to be scheduled uh the next 10 20 a.m which is not going to be today because that's already the past so it's going to be tomorrow and then i'll come back again later to prolong it um hopefully tesla is able to remove this file from my system from my car system because i don't want this installed right now um let's see what happens 